So Mr. Beast recently made a video where he killed 1,000 blind people they were able to see for the first time in a long time. It was a very emotional video, a very good video, and most people would say that he did a very good thing. Except that the thumbnail looks super weird, almost like not subscribing to the Ant Person YouTube channel, but that's besides the point. This drama has continued today, where an article was made about Mr. Beast by TechCrunch, which is supposedly a really big company, a really big news site, which is, I, I've never heard of them, but they have 10 million followers on Twitter, which is pretty big. They made an article about him where they called him an ableist. And what's even crazier is the fact that Mr. Beast actually responded and he said, so you prefer we don't help people get life-changing surgery they want and they asked for. Which I'm like, dang, that's that's pretty hard. That goes pretty hard. I, I screenshot the image. I think you should screenshot it too because it goes pretty hard. And what's even better yet again is the fact that Twitter ends up fact-checking this article. It says this article was written based on speculation and opinion rather than fact. As stated in the video, these people requested and asked for the surgery and not first to do it, just to appear in the video. The article by TechCrunch is a misrepresentation of the video. And again, this image, it goes hard. It goes hard. This is probably the best thing that Elon Musk did with Twitter, the fact checking. It goes very hard. And what's even better is that this article, it's just it sucks okay it like completely sucks and i think it's done like that on purpose because you know this article the title makes no sense it was just done for outrage and bait and it looks like it worked because i'm making a video on it but you know what i might as well read a few lines from it in the broadcast lens the biggest problem with wanting to cure blindness is that it reinforces a moral superiority of sorts by those without disabilities over those who are disabled although not confronted nearly as often as racism sexism, systemic ableism is pervasive through all parts of society. The fact of the matter is, and I'm not going to read it anymore, that's all you need to see. You understand exactly what I meant. I need no elaboration. And that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.